Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined by Bozy Ennis in New York. Bozy, how are you keeping, my friend? It's been a while. Oh, everything's good, man. How are you doing? Well, good. I, uh, after our conversation, I believe it was in Orlando, right. after Andy's fight, I spoke to Tyrone McKenna, right. who told me a great story about Boots and yourself. He mm -hmm. said when he came to the gym, you might remember this, you might not. He spoke to you and he said, look, I, I want you to train me. And you said, you got to spar one of my guys. He mm -hmm. said, pick anyone. Mm -hmm. And you said, I want you to spar my son. Mm -hmm. And he said, where is he? And you showed him and he said, what do you mean spar your son? He's a kid. Mm -hmm. And you said, I want you to spar my son. And he said to himself, is this guy for real? He wants to get his son hurt. <laughs> so he said, okay, I'll, I'll let him jump in with my son. So he got in and he said, he didn't lay a glove on Boots. He said, Boots battered him. And he got out of that ring knowing that Boots would become a world champion. Yeah. Did you always know he would be a world champion? Oh, yeah. I always knew that ever since he was little, man. You know what I mean? To me, he was a champ ever since he was born. You know what I mean? What separated him from everyone else? What was the difference? What did you see in him early on? What did I see early on? Well, what happened when he was little, he was that little walker. Which is, which you can't do your hands, but just with your feet. When I used to be on the bag, you know, punching the bag and stuff, he'd go to the bag and do like this. And he sees his brothers doing the same thing. You know what I mean? He'd been doing this ever since he was little. Now, really, when he started, I think it was like, i say like four or five, you know what I mean, that he started uh, uh, really boxing, you know what I mean? With, with Boots and with this Matrim signing, why Eddie Hearn? Why Matrim, Bozzi? Because obviously you had a, an influence on that. Yeah, I think that um, Eddie Hearn is, is, is the guy that we need because um, I like the way he moving his fighters. He moves his fighters very well, and they, and they fighting regular, though. And a lot of the uh, other network, I don't like talking about, but we, we were sitting around waiting. You know, we sitting around waiting, and um, we were supposed to fight in March, and um, that didn't take place. You know, I, I don't really want to speak about them anyway, but I think the move that we made with Eddie is a great move, you know what I mean, because... Uh, I like what he's doing, and plus, remember, I got um, Andy uh, Gomez with him, too. What does the next 12 months look like for Boots, in your opinion, from your discussions with Eddie Hearn? From your discussions with Eddie Hearn, what does the next 12 months look like for Boots? I think it's going to be a, 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 a hell of a ride the next few months. Uh, would you say 12 months? I think, yeah, I think we, we probably get... Maybe two two fights out of this year, maybe maybe three. But the way Eddie moving, we never know. We might get you know get the th three fights that we want. A lot's been spoken about Terence Crawford. Is that a fight that you want for Boots soon? Well, that's the fight I wanted for Boots. You know what I mean? Uh, back then, you know what I mean? And uh, before, but, but before uh, Terence, I wanted um, uh, 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 Spence because Spence was uh, you know undisputed, and that's who I wanted. And um, then after you know him and. Um, Crawford for it, you know, then we went out to Crawford, but we had wanted to fight both of them. I mean, even back then, we've been, you know, trying to fight them guys back, what, three, these, these three years ago, you know what I mean? So, um, and then we couldn't get them. We tried to get, um, uh, uh, what's this, Stenonis. We tried to get um, Thurman. Uh, uh, what's the other boy name? Uh, was up there at one time, too. Oh, oh, oh. Ortiz. Ortiz. But at that time, they didn't, you know, they didn't really wanted to fight Boots at that time because they, they down the line. But I understood that too, you know what I mean, when they said down the line because that'd be a big, major, major fight, you know what I mean? What, what will it mean for you as Boots' father to see him come home, Philadelphia, the home crowd, everything that comes with it? Oh, that, that's a beautiful thing because Boots had him fought in, in Philadelphia, what? in five years yeah so that that'd be something great for the city you know what i mean bring uh, uh boxing back to uh philly you know what i mean with, with the great champions and stuff like that a lot of people have spoke about um stephen espinosa is he still involved in any way shape or form and see that's one thing I, i'm not talking about. i can't talk about that right now that's something you got to go past that and and pbc i'm not talking about them at all so you're fully looking forward obviously with eddie hearn <clears throat> There's a Saudi Arabia connection now with Turkey Al Sheikh. Right, right. Is that something you're excited about for Boots as well? 
Well, what I'm excited about is that we we uh, join uh, Matram and Eddie Hearns. You know, what I mean, that's the most important thing I'm excited about. You know, what I mean, but uh, the Saudi Arabia. You know, what I mean, you know, I mean, when it comes, you know, we we be willing to you know deal with them too. You know, what I mean, that's what Eddie was telling me the same thing about you know Shirk. What's his name? Shirk Alex. Yeah. With, I'll, I'll let you go because I know you're a busy man, but I want to get your opinion on Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. Mm -hmm. What do you think of Ryan Garcia's behavior, first of all? Well, I, I think that Ryan probably, probably using psychology, psychological thing. But people think he's, something's wrong with him, but it could be. But uh, I know one thing, he's, he's, he's getting into Devin Head a little bit. You know what I mean? Because Devin started pushing him and they're going, you know what I mean? And then he's, I think he said something about Devin mom, mother, did he? Something like that, so that really playing effect on Devin Mind, though. But uh, I don't know, man. It, it is just crazy, man. And then he was overweight. Yeah, three pounds. I think that's where he wanted to be. And he didn't want to lose that weight. You know I mean? How do you believe this fight ends tomorrow between Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia, in your opinion? Well, I, I understand, like, what everybody's saying that um, Wichicom do have a puncher's chance because he can punch Ryan, but Devin can box any of fight you inside. Devin got that that, that that gritty dirty gritty gritty stuff when the time to come down to fight, he gonna fight you. So I got Devin, I, I got Devin winning that fight. Well Bozy, it's always a pleasure to speak to you on IFL TV. Really appreciate your time and we look forward to watching this move for boots and, and everything that comes with it with Mushroom. Yeah, appreciate you. it. Appreciate you man. Thank you. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.